Hey everyone, welcome back to MG Guy Vintage Vehicles. If this is your first time here, your last time here, or you're just passing through, I appreciate you tuning in. Right here, with 10 project cars available for sale across North America this week. You'll find links in the video description below for each of these cars. Enough talk, let's get on with today's project cars for sale. Okay, let's get into it here. First off, we have a 1963 Thunderbird, listed for $5,000 US in Little Rock, Arkansas. It's been listed as condition used fair, and from the description, project vintage car enthusiasts. Car runs, equipped for AC, original owner included all original parts when I purchased. For sale, as is. And here we have a 1973 Ford Mustang, listed for $4,500 in Milton, Florida. Again, condition is listed as used fair, and from the seller's description, 302 V8, it is a restore project. Floor and trunk pans will need replacing. It will run, just needs some TLC. I did buy a new gas tank so it could be fired off, but have not mounted it. Comes with an extra set of wheels and lots of parts and two extra hoods, one is a Mach 1 hood. No trades. Okay. Up next, we have a 1977 Chevrolet Corvette LED2 C3, listed for $5,900 US in St. Petersburg, Florida. Also listed as condition used fair. From the seller's description, this is a project car that needs the interior and dash installed. Engine and transmission run strong and has had brake work done. There is a power steering leak, it is not the pump. New dash, carpet, and seat upholstery. Instrument panel needs to be reinstalled all wiring marked. Needs a good paint job with finished sanding. Car has Bondo and some surface rust. I traded for the car two years ago, been stored in a shop. No time to finish the project. Factory air disconnected. Tires are in good shape. The value is in the powertrain. Here we have a 1947 DeSoto convertible. Still sticking around Florida. It's listed for $9,900 US in Pensacola, Florida. Condition used fair from the seller's description. Clear title, tagged and driven regularly, comes with all of the chrome and interior parts. This is a restoration project. All right, we're gonna move across the country here now. 
Here we have a 65 Chevrolet Corvair Monza, listed for $7,000 US in Kent, Washington. Again, condition is used fair and from the seller's description. Four speed, 110 horse Monza edition. Car has been sitting, needs some repairs, but runs and drives. New top, carpet, and some new interior pieces, but needs front buckets redone. Comes with a full trunk of extra and new parts. Some of the parts include new rubber seals, the parts to convert to a power top, shop manuals, and interior and exterior trim pieces. A good solid running car needs TLC just in time for summer. All right, here we have a 1970 Datsun Roadster Fairlady R1600, listed for $8,000 US in Searcy, Arizona. Again, condition is used fair and from the seller's description. 1970 Datsun Fairlady Roadster R1600. This is a project car with a clean Arkansas title. It is not running and will need to be trailered. It was running before SU carbs were taken off this comes with everything pictured, including several spare carbs and parts. If there are any questions about the car, feel free to ask. Here we have a 1979 Chevrolet Camaro listed for $5,500 US in Kenosha, Wisconsin. It's been driven 64,789 miles and has a manual transmission. Clean title, this vehicle has no significant damage or problems. From the seller's description, $5,500 or best offer, no trades. Clean title, 1979 Chevrolet Camaro. The engine is a 350 small block with Vortec heads. 4-speed manual with Hurst Indy shifter, 750 Holly carb, Edelbrock intake manifold, unknown cam, and a few other parts. The car does run, but will need a trailer. Have a bunch of parts for the vehicle, such as brand new carpet, Edelbrock Performer RPM intake manifold, Edelbrock valve covers, interior pieces, trim for doors, as well as new seals. Bought to restore, but need gone as soon as possible as I have to move. Here's an oldie but a goodie, and the price seems pretty good too. 1950 Chrysler Windsor, listed for $1,800 in Staten, Oregon. It's been driven 30,000 miles and has an automatic transmission. From the seller's description, doesn't run, no title, but I have contact info for a Leon specialist that works with a tow company I bought it from to get a title. Missing radiator, missing headlight rings, taillight lenses, and one dash item that I don't know what it is been sitting since 1980. Before parked, it got new window seals, paint, and all of the interior. Even the carpet in the trunk was replaced. The only area that didn't get restored was the drivetrain. No cracks in any of the glass. Paint changes color based on the lighting from red to orange. Engine is a flathead straight 6, 251. All right, I have to get my little British car in here. 1979 Triumph Spitfire, listed for $4,000 US in New Smyrna Beach, Florida. Condition listed as used good and from the seller's description. Runs, drives good, new top not installed, cover, tonneau, tires, brakes okay. Needs carbs adjusted, interior needs redone, first, second synchro, rough on downshift, extra transmission, health forces sale. Last 
and not least. 1980 Toyota Long Bed Pickup, listed for $1,000 US in Clarkston, Washington. It's been driven 195,000 miles as an automatic transmission and from the seller's description. I bought this via project truck and haven't done as much as I wanted to do with it. Did the typical tune-up on it when I first got it. It starts, may need a battery soon. It drives like any mobile like this would, no power steering as could be expected. It's a beater, but it'll go from point A to B and with some extra love would last a while for the price. Open to trades for a bike or any offer, worst I can say is no. Okay, so that's it for today's project cars. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons so you'll be notified when future videos go live. I also post videos twice a week on Sundays and Wednesdays of running classic vehicles available for sale for under $15,000 across North America if you're looking for a ready to drive classic vehicle. If you are enjoying my content, I've set up a channel membership. You can click the join button below or the link in the channel description and you'll have access to extra perks including early access to each and every video before they go live on YouTube. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.